Hey, in today's video, we're going to be doing uh, an honest review of the Pen Tips Magnetic Matte Screen Protector that goes on your iPad Pro. So the reason I call these honest reviews is that Pen Tips did not send this to me or ask me to review this. I bought this with my own hard-earned cash, and I want to give you an honest review based on my expertise of drawing on the iPad Pro for professionally for thousands of hours. First, you might be asking, why do you need a matte finish cover to put on the iPad Pro at all? Well, matte finish covers actually kind of feel more like a drawing paper or something like smooth Bristol. So for old school artists like me, I really love that natural feel from going from paper to digital and back and forth. It's kind of critical for me. My current favorite iPad screen cover is the Tech Armor Non-Glare Matte Finish Cover, which will run you uh, about a two pack on Amazon, costs $16.95, a little distracted by my cat there, or one could cost you $9.95 over on Amazon. But Tech Armor has been my go-to matte finish cover for years. It beats expensive brands like the Paperlike, which run about $45 for two. It's like highway robbery and the Tech Armor just feels a lot better to me. There's another review of the Paperlike somewhere on my channel that you can check out, but thumbs down to Paperlike. Sorry, Paperlike. Now, the Pen Tips Magnetic Matte Finish Cover is a bit different. And it has a price tag of $29 plus about $5 in shipping. But the big difference is it's magnetic. You know, you don't have to worry about sticking it on and getting like the annoying air bubbles or maybe a, a random cat hair goes on your screen after you've applied it and then you've ruined your screen cover. That's happened to all of us, right? And it really does go on pretty super easily. So in this case, I was curious to spend a little bit more for the added convenience. But now comes the real test. Let's draw on this bad boy. Okay, so inside you're going to find, well, they have it tucked into this little thick plastic envelope thing, which is, at first glance, I'm thinking like, is this just a waste of plastic? But now I understand you might not always want it on your, attached to your screen. So this doubles as a nice little uh, holder when you don't want to have it on your iPad. Me personally, this thing's probably going to live on my iPad. So my first impression pulling this out of the case was that it feels really rough, kind of like a sandpaper. I guess, you know, the, the difference would be going from a smooth Bristol board feeling to like a vellum Bristol board, at least to the touch. Okay, so let's apply it and get to drawing here. It does go on the iPad very easily, it just snaps right on. The, the power of magnets, how do they work? And you know, definitely this is not what I expected. I just tested out the uh, pen tips from Pen Tips, the company, and I didn't really like those, but this feels surprisingly different to me. It's definitely not what I expected. There's, there's just enough resistance, but it's a way better feel than the Pen Tips Fiber Edition Pen Tips, which I reviewed in another video. You know, the line control is really great here. And unlike those pen tips that slip on, I can actually see the tip of the pen touching the, the, uh, the screen, which I really like. And here's something a little unexpected to me that I'm seeing now. The color is definitely better through this screen compared to other matte finish screen covers. And it's not that the tech armor or the paper like are dim. You might not even notice it if you've been using it. I've been using the tech armor for quite a few years. But now that I have the pen tips magnetic screen cover on, I do see the difference. It's very subtle, but I just kind of feel like the, definitely the colors are crisper. And yeah, you know, there's very nice line control here, thin to thick. And yep, you know, really nice job pen tips. I really enjoy this screen cover. It really does feel nice. And it doesn't really take that long to get used to either. Okay, so what's my honest summary here? You know, I really like this. <laughs> I think it's worth the $29. I think Pen Tips did a really great job of innovating this type of screen cover that I could just snap on, snap off. I really like that about it. Of course, mine's gonna live on there. And I guess the next question is, has this unseated my old favorite cover from Tech Armor? And you know, oh man, that's, that's super tough for me. You know, me and Tech Armor, we go way back. You know, way back to those days when we reviewed the paper-like matte finish cover and, you know, when I barely knew what the heck I was doing on YouTube or maybe in life. <laughs> Is it possible to have an emotional attachment to matte finish screen covers? 
Will the pen tips cover completely replace it forever? You know, time's gonna tell. You know, I've already removed the tech armor cover uh, from the screen, so I might as well keep the pen tips cover on it, draw for a few hundred hours, and then report back in a future video uh, to see if it actually is my go-to matte finish cover. But it's definitely worth a shot. So please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. And also, if you don't mind hitting that like button on this video, I really appreciate it. And it helps YouTube find other artists out there that this channel can help. So thank you. Please stay encouraged out there, draw every day, and I'll see you back here real dang soon. Back to the drawing board for me. Lazy cat.